Welcome to our 82nd season here at the Cape Playhouse, America's oldest professional summer theater, presenting the best of Broadway here on Cape Cod. And this summer is a no exception. We're very proud that we're going to be bringing you six productions, things that you would never be able to see at home on your television or if you go to the movies because it's live, because it's happening right here, and some very exciting things they are. This summer, we start with the international star Mark Salem his show Mind Games. Be prepared to be amazed at what this man can do. He is a man who sold out on the West End in London, on Broadway, and is coming to us directly from South Africa for two weeks to come and play with your mind, to amaze you with what he can do. A special, a special man profiled on 60 Minutes, profiled on television, You'll be very proud to come and see this special event that you will not see anyplace else. Second up, this is going to be a season of a lot of music. A lot of our people have asked for music this year, and we're going to give it to them with some delightful dance, song, music all put together, and a wonderful show, A Day in Hollywood, A Night in the Ukraine, a madcap Marx Brothers comedy that is taking place on our stage. So if you love the Marx Brothers, if you love comedy, if you love tap dancing, if you love some great songs by Richard Whiting, such as Blue Horizon, things like that, you don't want to miss this wonderful show, Day in Hollywood, Night in the Ukraine. And then we're very proud to have the regional theater premiere of a big Broadway hit, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. The first time ever produced in a regional theater, and we're doing the premiere of that wonderful show. It's based on the movie starting, starring David Niven and Steve Martin. And in our case, we have some big Broadway stars coming to perform it. Brent Barrett, who many of you may have known from Broadway's Kiss Me Kate, or if you saw the telecast from London, that was Brent. Also, Dee Hody, one of our favorite stars coming back. John Shearer, another Cape Playhouse favorite coming back in that. An all-Broadway star cast for this great show about con artists and Mediterranean, the Mediterranean and with beautiful girls and very handsome men. After that, we have our Baby Boomer Bonanza. For those of you who remember Beehive from last year, get out your boots, get out your mini skirts, get out your hair. This is all of Ellie Greenwich's great songs, such as Be My Baby, Chapel of Love, Do Ron Diddy, uh, River Deep, Mountain High, Leader of the Pack. A great story to tell of the, one of the great writers from the 1960s, Ellie Greenwich, Leader of the Pack. And then, a wonderful American comedy, Garson Kanan's Born Yesterday, about Billy Dawn, that chorus girl who outsmarts her hustler boyfriend who brings her to Washington to culturefy her. You don't want to miss it. It's a delight. It's a great American classic it, based on the, you might know it from the movie, starring Judy Holliday, who also starred in the play originally. And then we're ending the season for all those jazz fans out there and people who love music in any way, shape, or form with the devil's music, the life and blues of Bessie Smith, one of the great jazz artists. This is a true tour de force performed by Mickey Braden, who has performed it around. It's a great evening, and you'll love those songs. You'll love the story of Bessie Smith, and a great energy, high energy way to end the season. Overall, something for everybody, something you're not going to see any place else, and a season that's going to really send you out into the fall laughing, smiling, and kicking up your hips just in time for the elections. So join us this summer at the Cape Playhouse. This is Jim Wilson, President of the Board of Trustees of the Cape Cod Center for the Arts. Evans Hale has just given you an overview of the exciting 2008 summer season that will be taking place here at the Cape Playhouse. In addition to the Playhouse, we have many other facilities. We have the Cape Cinema Movie Theater with its unique artistic atmosphere of the Rockwell Kent mural. For many years, Eric Hart has operated this facility with a popular assortment of contemporary films with both local and international vintage. The Cape Museum of Arts makes its home here. Run by an independent board of trustee, it brings a wide range of art exhibits and events that are always changing and growing with the cultural needs of the local community. In addition to that, there is the Center Stage Cafe, operated by Mark and Kelly Bartle, which offers an excellent menu of continental cuisine with a Caribbean and Asian influence. 
I encourage you all to come and visit our facilities here and enjoy the many opportunities for you and your family. One of the best ways of finding out about the shows we're doing and the schedule and the prices, go to our website, www.capeplayhouse.com. It's that easy. All your questions should be answered. And if you have further questions, you can call the box office directly at 508-385-3911. And they'll be glad to answer your questions as well as take your ticket orders because you don't want to miss out this season.